wait till you see this next project. You will want to make a whole village of gingerbread houses after this feature. It is a festive holiday tradition. Mm -hmm. You can either bake it from scratch or there are kits. Uh, some of the kits that are out there, you can actually build them. Right. Or there's this particular one we're using was pre-built for us, so all we had and to do was decorate it. With the icing Let me tell you, and with all of the gum icing, and candies, all the, all the pieces that you need. And you know, if you still like a little bit stronger gingerbread smell than what you get there, put some nutmeg and some cinnamon in some water on the stove and walk with through your orange. house with the pan. That, that sounds <laughs> I have done work. that to get the same smell. Now they're very simple to decorate. Uh, this uh, particular one, we've spatula iced the roof is that with royal? the white icing. Yes, it's it is royal, royal icing. icing. And if you're assembling your own gingerbread, like you make your gingerbread and you want to put it together, you want to make sure you use royal icing. That's the icing you make with meringue powder because it dries really hard. It's like glue. It's uh -huh. like edible it's, glue. It keeps all the candy on mm -hmm. it. Right. And then you can just put the candy in any way. A younger child could easily do this. Well, we do this every year. I'll let you start decorating. Well, I want to show you that you don't have to use them exactly how they come. You can actually cut the little spice drops in half. Right. And if you want to have more trees on the outside of your house, you can take any, if, if the kit comes with spearmint leaves, just cut them in half. And, okay. So you and can they do that stick too. a little better that mm -hmm. way also. You were talking, now you've got the royal icing. I've got royal icing and it's a small round tip. I think it's probably about a number three. Okay. And, and I'm just going to do zigzag up here by the roof line. Uh, we do um, parties every year with my daughter's class and we decorate gingerbread houses. The kids love it. Little girls have the best time and you can take, as we said, the gumdrops. You can do candy canes. Mm -hmm. You can do ice cream cones and decorate the ice cream cones and, and turn them into the trees for the front yard. Yeah, that's a cute idea too. The, and the kids truly can use their imagination and all the houses are different and you can take them to the Salvation Army or wherever, you know, when There's they're no finished. right or wrong way. Now, the other thing, I'm just going to put some dots up here, and then we're going to stick those spice drops on it for the wreath that goes around. How long does it take the royal icing to dry once you... Well, it'll be a little dry in, you know, about 15, 20 minutes, really dry, you know, in about an hour or two. But you really need a stiff consistency mm -hmm. when you do get started. Yeah, and, and you know, you can make it up yourself or I'm not doing too well on alternating my colors. Well, that's right. And these are great centerpieces for a holiday party. When you put them on the middle of a table, they are adorable. And you can see I only have five in there. I could readjust it. And I've got a little bit of white around it. You know, you don't have to worry about that because that's more snow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that it's so much fun. That Every age child can, you know, do these. And you know, they could at least put the candy on and eat some of the extra candy. Now, this is a this tree. This is going to be a, a tree. Christmas and we're tree. just, what this is, is these are graduated uh, layers, graduated sizes of star Stars. cookies. And then you just angle them in there so that you actually get the look of a, a stacked tree. tree. So there's not much to that. I mean, you can buy the cookie cutters that are nesting. You can actually, you know, uh -huh. buy the kit if you don't want to and just building make up. it. This reminds me. You see these candy BBs? My daughter shoved one of those up her nose at, at, at the two-year mark. <laughs> Thanks for the sharing, top. Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> there, Kenny. So you do have to supervise if you have the little ones. And then, you know, if you wanted to put the icing decorations on top, I always like to eyeball it down the side, make sure it's you not know the leaning tower. it's not the leaning tower tree. But you could also put the icing deck that comes with it. And then, you know, here's how you can get your green uh, tree limbs. You just, okay. you know, it's like a shell that you're actually putting all the way around. And this is, is this royal that you're using? Yes, or, okay. and it'll dry hard. And this will last. Sometimes people say, well, how long will they last? You know, this will last, you know, a month or two. It just will become a little bit dusty. Right. But you do want to wrap it up if you try to store it or keep it or shellac yeah, it or something. Yeah, but you know what? If it's going to be a tradition, it might be fun to just actually do a new one every year. I think you got the idea with that one. If we wanted to put some snow on there, we just, you know, squirt some extra snow. This is, again, the round tip, and you can just put little pieces of snow. You can actually drop the mini jawbreakers in there if you wanted to. And, and I'm going to put a present out front. I want a present. While, while um, I'm an amateur, there are truly professionals who decorate and, and they compete against one another, you oh, know, absolutely. at hotels and different things like that every year. And it is, it's a tradition and it makes. Um, Aren't those cute? Don't those look is. just like uh, ornaments? 
and people do villages out of these, not just, you know, the houses and the trees. They have Okay, you're going to laugh at everything. this. Yes, I've done a Swiss chalet, I've done a beach house, oh, I've done a Hansel and Gretel house, because that's how gingerbread started, now, was over in Germany. did you with your children when you were, mm -hmm. um, you were young? You they know what? love I'm gonna, it. I'm going to let you start I'm going to move over here. I'm going to finish decorating this. I can't leave it just Now, plain. this is one that's not just for... Uh, Christmas because it's a bunny, so a you can use this for Easter. Isn't that adorable? But you could do it for basically any holiday. And here's what I was talking about for spatula icing. You just put the spatula on um, spatula in the icing, grab right. it, and you just kind of ice the roof. And and these I've even seen them at, at Halloween. You can mm -hmm. um, you can purchase a kit at Halloween time and let yeah, the kids decorate Yeah, but you could also just them. use the same basic shell that you would use for if you're making your own. You know at those holidays. I want to make sure I have enough icing because I'm going to stick his other little ear on here. And this this was a this kit. Free ice. But you know uh -huh. you you could um, stick that on there. Bake your gingerbread. See if it's going to go down. No, it's not. Good. Okay. So and then you know usually if you're using the kit, the little spice drops. Right. Or are you I, making the flower? You're, yeah, we can do a flower. flower. Let's do one here in front. What color center you want? Yellow. There's some yellow centers. Okay. And then you just put them around. I was going to do a multicolor flower, but I guess that'd look a little weird, so we do the green. I don't want to knock his ear down, but if I do, that's an oh well. We'll just put it back on. That's all right. I'll push that one down so he doesn't fall His ear's off. kind of blocking my view here. Yeah, I've got room. Scoot your but little ear But the kids, bag. they really enjoy putting their own spin. Why don't you do on, one? May I do one? Okay. Sure. Thank you. I'm going to put you to work. I appreciate this. this. Oh, I love, you know, we, as I said, we do this at our house. But it is something we really look forward to. We put cloves and cinnamon and orange slices in a little water on the stovetop. Yeah, that's we, my cheater. <laughs> we, pop, we pipe holiday music through the house, and we turn the fireplaces on, and it's kind of uh, our time together. And then we do have a little party with the kids, uh -huh. and all the kids look so forward to it. And then we send them home with a gingerbread treat that's bagged up, you know, that we made, whether it's a little person or How something sweet. like that. Yes, yeah, so it's it? a little sweet. memory. How sweet. A sweet gesture. Now, if you wanted to, I've got some coconut here that's been colored with uh, icing color. And what you do with that is you just put your white coconut in a bag, put some icing color in there, obviously green we used here, and then just kind of squish it all together, and it picks up the color of the different grass. So you could put the grass around there and then put your little jelly, jelly bean eggs down. around the front of it. How about, mm -hmm. now, I wouldn't have thought of the coconut. That's a, that's a new spin on it. So we have the bunny hutch, we have the Christmas tree, and we have the gingerbread houses. It's easy, it's simple, it's something the it's family fun. can do and it's together. it's such a great tradition. A great tradition to do.